to vlog. I don't really know what I'm going to show you yet. Probably a couple of recipes. Um, I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us. Today I'm about to go work out. I'm going to do chest and triceps today. And I'm going to make my pre-workout. I'm going to show you guys what I usually have for pre-workout. Or what I always have unless I have a monster instead. So this is just the Alphamine. And it's PE Science. So it's a thermogenic powder. So it does have caffeine in it. They also have a product called High Volume, which I love, but I'm out of it right now. That is not a caffeine, so it's not a stimulant at all. Um, you can mix the two, and it gives your muscles a good pump, basically. So you get a good pump while working out, and you have energy if you mix them. If you just do the Alphamine, it's just a caffeine supplement. So that's what I'm going to take today. And our washer and dryer, we just got hooked up, but of course, something's wrong with the line, and it leaked everywhere. So we had to put fans on the carpet. They're dry now, but yeah, so we called maintenance and hopefully they'll be here within like 24 hours to fix that because that could be an issue and I really want to wash clothes, so yeah. Um, I'm hoping that because I'm going to the gym right now, they're supposed to come, we don't know exactly what time, so and Clay's at work right now, so I might have to leave the gym and come back which would really suck, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and I'm gonna hope that I can finish this workout before they call. Usually they take forever, so I don't know, but of course today they'll probably come like right now because <laughs> that's just my life. But, so I'm gonna show you. I am just mixing one scoop of this, like that, pour it in, and then I just add about eight ounces of water. I've just recently realized that um, before I would mix my pre-workout with a ton of water, I'd even put ice in it and make it like a drink and people at the gym I used to work at used to make fun of me for it, but that's just how I like to drink it. <laughs> and I would sometimes, I think when I first started taking it, I would get definitely energy from it because it was still new to me. But now since I've become such accustomed to it and I'm probably addicted to caffeine, it doesn't really do anything to me unless I drink it with way less water so it's not as diluted. So that's what I'm doing now. And I'll just put some water in it like that. And I'll show you guys how much I'm just using my fridge water. And then I'll put one ice cube just for fun because it's 7,000 degrees here in Texas. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this is Muscle Maker Grill. This is just a brochure that I got from them. And I, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I ate there the other day. It is so freaking good and amazing. There's all like healthy options. Um, everything's already in my fitness pal too. So all the macros are already in there, which is amazing. But they have like everything. Edamame, fresh green salads. This turkey taco one looks super good. Um, healthy wraps. They have, this is the one I got, the Santa Fe, which is super good. Um, it has chicken, turkey, bacon red beans, brown rice, reduced fat cheddar, and zero carbs, zero carb signature sauce, and a jalapeno wrap. But the wrap did not taste spicy at all. I don't really love super spicy things, and it was good. So, and then this is just fit bowls that they have. But they have a lot of locations, and they even do meal prep for you too. There's the sides. So I suggest you check it out and see if they have one near you, because it was amazing. I'll definitely be going back. It's actually on post, so that's really convenient, like after the gym and stuff. But, yeah, if I was competing, yep, definitely do that. Especially during the school year, $7 per meal. I would probably just pick one meal per week, or sorry, one meal per day, and just order, like, you know, five meals a week, which wouldn't be that bad. I mean, yeah, it's expensive, but if you're competing, it would save me a lot of time for lunches. So I wouldn't have to deal with making my lunch. and Or I could just add things to it, of course, but... Um, oh, I also, I guess this is like a kitchen tour right now. I also got these snickerdoodles. They are the complete cookie and they are so freaking good. This is a snickerdoo flavor. It's gigantic. It's 16 grams of protein. Amazing. I have a code for them if you guys want to order some. And it will be in the description box. They have all different flavors. You can either even get mystery boxes so you can mix the flavors but they're super good. I highly recommend them, especially if you microwave them for about 15 seconds. So good. They're like warm and oh, amazing. It is a lot of carbs for the whole cookie if you get the 16 grams of protein one, but you can either eat half of it if you want or just eat the whole thing. It just depends on your macros. Or they also have single serving cookies that they just came out with that are eight grams of protein. 
Okay, I'm letting my phone charge. Does anybody else have this problem where I feel like every time I'm about to leave, my phone is pretty much dead? And this is a problem because I need music to listen to at the gym. Sorry, I'm squinting, I cannot see. And I don't know, I need a new charger because the one at my house works fine, but the car charger I have doesn't do anything. It literally makes my battery go down. So I don't know <laughs> why that is, but I just wanted to show you guys. So nice out today, again. I love living in Texas. So pretty. Patio set, just so I can sit out here. We can sit out here and eat dinner, but we just haven't got around to it yet. But our couch is coming tomorrow, so that's exciting. And I think I'm actually gonna go walk to get the mail, because I like to walk, it's super nice, and it's not that far away, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I just wanted to talk about something today, and it's something that I feel like people don't bring enough light to and I just want you to realize that it's okay if this happens to you because newsflash it happens to everybody even if they don't admit it so this is not sticking to your diet go figure so there are so many people that are on different kinds of diets different kinds of exercise routines different kinds of I don't know however you want to describe your life but and I feel like people make this big deal about like, you need to stick to your macros, you need to stick to your diet every single day, you need to make sure you're getting to the gym, make sure you're completing your lifts, which yeah, like in order to see results you do need to be really consistent, and that's the only thing that will really get you results. Like, if you're not consistent, if you're making excuses every single day, then no, you're not going to see results. And you need to accept that, like if that's what you're doing, then that's why you haven't lost any weight, or that's why you haven't gained any muscle. But on the other hand, I feel like people make it seem like you need to be so strict and so just like confined to it and you don't like it's okay if you miss a day at the gym it's okay if you just get home from work one day and you are exhausted like you feel like you can't even walk like then don't go like it's okay same with your macros like there's a day you're just starving and you really are hungry you're not just eating because you're bored then eat some more food it's okay your body's telling you that it's hungry and so you need to eat like that's it don't make it more complicated than it is. Wow, my arm is really hurting from holding this camera up. But yeah, we all have those days and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that I stick to my diet every single day because I will tell you right now that I don't. Like, there are plenty of days where I'm like, hmm, I really want a bowl of cereal. I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal even though it doesn't fit my macros. Does that make me a failure at life? No, it's really not a big deal. It's, it's up to you, like how strict you wanna be. It depends on you and your goals, and yes, if you're cutting and you're in a deficit for a short period of time, like your diet has an end to it, then maybe you don't eat that bowl of cereal or whatever you're trying to fit in because you know that you only have to be in these low macros for a set period of time, and that's fine. But I'm just telling you that please don't beat yourself up over it if you don't stick to it because people do not always stick to their diet, and a lot of people on Instagram and Facebook and whatever, YouTube, act like they're like, hit their macros to a T every single day. And I just wanna let you know that they probably don't. If they do, that's great, more power to them, but my life is something that I love. And if someone asks me to go to dinner, someone asks me to, if Clay wants to go get, I don't know, anything, Mexican food or whatever, Chick-fil-A, I'm gonna go and I'm probably gonna eat there, even if it doesn't fit my macros, because life's too short and like I said, there's a time and a place and it's okay if you are really dedicated, that's great. I'm not saying it's wrong to be, you know, to stick to your macros all the time, but it's okay to every now and then not and have an untracked meal or have a day where you just eat when you feel like eating. It's fine. And also, eating when you want to eat is called intuitive eating and that's what we are born with. That's what we naturally start out with where we eat when we are hungry and we stop when we're full. Um, I think that intuitive eating gets a lot harder later on in life when we realize how much we love food and we just want to eat, 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 or we starve ourselves because we want to lose weight. That's when intuitive eating kind of has a problem, but that's okay if you do that too. Like it doesn't matter. You don't have to do macros. Like just do what works for you. I personally like macros because I cannot handle, I I can't handle intuitive eating, to be honest. Like, I'll just eat too much. Um, it's hard for me to get enough protein in, and that's just where I'm at right now. That doesn't mean that I'm going to track macros for life. It doesn't mean that I'm going to 
Um, I, I won't track my grocery life actually, but yeah, so do what works for you and don't be afraid to miss the gym. Don't be afraid to enjoy life and it's okay. It's fine. You can still reach your goals and not be so strict with it. Like you don't need to be. It's okay. So that's my little pet talk for today. takes us but um yeah he's been taking medicine for his he has a herniated disc in his neck right now so that's been hurting him for a really long time and I feel really bad because he can't work out um it's a lot of pain and he has to take a lot of medicine so hopefully he has a steroid shot coming up soon so hopefully that will help him and if not then he might have to have surgery so yeah I feel bad though because I know it like bothers him that he can't work out so but yeah we're gonna go to Chipotle and I will show you guys what I eat and I'm super excited because I'm really hungry.
counts. The one we just bought. Yeah. So then you buy three more. And then you get a free entree. Oh, sweet. And then that entree counts towards your next one. Dang. So you only got to buy three more. And then you get a free one. And then that one counts towards your next one. You only got to buy two more. That's awesome. We definitely need that. That is free. Yeah. Cool. And then it adds up points or some shit for the three summer months that they do, July, August, September. Oh. And then you can get this stuff or something. I don't know. Okay. Free, free. I gotta take them to retail. Oh, you're gonna cut it open. I'm not cutting it open. <laughs> you won't? No, I'm gonna bite it. Oh. I'm not trying to eat it like a... It takes forever long. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Patches is her name. She's like, yeah. <laughs> so tiny. Oh, this some seeping. is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger step by step the clock is ticking but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town from London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul we are heroes tonight we will fly This is just a cup of tea. It's the antioxidant green tea. Um, it's the Celestial brand and does have caffeine. And then I mixed one tablespoon of apple cider, vinegar, apple cider vinegar in it with some lemon as well. Um, I just started drinking this not too long ago, a couple days ago, just because I wanted to try it. Um, apple cider vinegar has tons of health benefits. You can look up online. I'll maybe put some down below, but tons of health benefits. So I wanted to try it. I know a lot of people um, say that it tastes disgusting and it does absolutely. But if you mix it with tea or something else, like I put lemon in as well, it kind of takes the flavor out of it and it's not a big deal. Um, I might try to incorporate two tablespoons once I get used to it, but for now I'm just doing one. 
and yeah, today is Monday, so I'm going to have a great day. I have a lot to do. It's only 6.57, so that's pretty good. I'm trying to get everything done early. That way I can relax for the rest of the night. So I'm going to drink this. Okay. Eight egg whites, two pieces of Sara toast, and one tablespoon of jelly, two tablespoons of peanut butter. And that's it.